St. Thomas, the architecture is so beautiful inside of the church. It draws you in. Someone has mentioned that it is an evangelist type of architecture that tethers you, gives you a connection to what you are, you know, wanting to worship, believe in, and, you know, be a part of. So it doesn't just draw you in because it's beauty alone. It draws you in because there's a connection um, that really helps you be a part of it. Lead with love means in everything that you do and how you interact with people, always your intention should be love. It should be what people see first when they see you and make that the centerpiece of how you live your life. We're relatively new to St. Thomas, um, but they have accepted us wholeheartedly. Um, we all have our flaws um, and they don't look at that. They just look at us as people with, who are here to seek God. Um, our children, um, they've already embraced that this is a family environment. Um, we talked about community. We personally don't live in this community, but we feel like we do um, because it is such a close-knit group um, and getting more and more by the day. Um, so I would hope that our children um, they've, they've made friends already, and I hope they grow to see them as family as well. But not just the children have a space created for them that they are welcomed into, but everyone does. Unique gifts, um, skin color, like, uh, social economic status is a big one. Um, everyone's welcomed the same way, everyone's spoken to the same way, lifting up and supporting from an informed, non-judgmental, thoughtful, intentional position. St. Thomas is my other family. I feel comfortable here, I feel like I belong here, and the people here are um, just so special to me. We're seeing a lot of people that are not um, uh, currently Episcopalians, and they're finding something um, at St. Thomas where they can express their faith, learn more about their faith, be comfortable, feel accepted and welcome. Um, a lot of people have uh, lingering trauma. Uh, I don't know if it's called religious trauma or from, you know, from their childhood religious experiences. And so to be able to come to a church where you can maybe make sense of, of how you were raised or you know how you were taught to worship and, and come and be part of a joyful community that's leading with love. Um, it helps to heal some of those old wounds and, and help people move forward uh, and be evangelists. So when I first started coming to St. Thomas, I noticed that the imagery of Christ and different events throughout the Bible were uh, depicted in ways that actually represented the culture and the origins of where these stories came from. Um, the depictions of Christ and of different um, people within the church all around are going to depict parts of us that don't always get noticed and that we you know can relate to representation is super important within our community when we teach kids it's important to have representation if not they don't engage they don't feel like you understand them because there's no one who looks like them sounds like them acts like them um, so saint thomas is a place where you get to come as you are and you get to see that others are like you here everyone's welcome Everyone is welcome here, and you don't have to um, like behave in a certain way. You don't have to look a certain way. You, you don't have to even think the same way that you think people in this church think, because I think it's a church where people all share faith, even though they may look at things a little differently. Um, everyone's really welcome, and um, just give it a try. One, two, three.